so children welcome back so in this video we will learn from your evs book chapter 8 that is what's on plate now let's see here let's see this picture amma where does all these food come from so these two children are eating food so this girl is asking her mom that where does all this food come from so here we also will think that the food that we'll eat where does it come from so let's see on this tidli let me tell you a story about the journey of food so now the mother replied to the girl the girl name is tidli so she replied that she will tell her the story about the journey of food let's see Food is an important part of our lives. It gives us energy to work and play. Most of our food comes from plants and animals. So, food, it is an important part of our life. And it gives us energy to work and also it gives us energy to play. And we also know that our food comes from both plants and animals. You see here, food comes from plants and animals. Fruits, vegetables, spices, oil, cereals, pulses, beverages, and dry fruits come from plants grown by farmers. So, all these are the things that we get from plants and they are grown by the farmers. We get milk, meat, eggs, fish, and other dairy items from animals. So, these are the food items that we get from animals. Where does food come from? So here we will see where are all these food come from. We buy food ingredients from a shopkeeper or the market. But how does it reach there? So when we need food, we, when we need food ingredients, we go to the market. We buy from a shopkeeper or we buy from the market. But how does it reach there? How does this shopkeeper or how does this market got this? Vegetables or food. The food on our plate reaches us after traveling a long distance from a farm. So, the food that we eat, the food that we have in our plate reaches. It reaches us after a long distance from a farm. So, here it means that farm is a place where these foods are grown. On a farm, Farmers do many things to make sure we have food on our place. So, on a farm, what does this farmer do? This farmer do many things to make sure that we have food on our plate. They plant and grow crops. They take care of animals, collect eggs and milk cows, amongst many other things. So, in the, in the farm, they grow. They grow crops, they also take care of animals, they collect eggs from hens and they collect milk from cows and they also do many other things. Let us learn more about farming. So now we'll see, we will learn more about farming. Now let's see this. Farming. Farmers grow a variety of crops to meet our need. This is where the plants that we it come from. So these farmer they grow variety of crops in the farm so that we get food so they have so that we have food in our plate. So this is where the plants that we eat come from. So plowing is the first step of growing crops. So what is the first step of growing crop? It is plowing. Now let's see how this plowing is done. Farmers plow the field with blocks and or tractor. So you see here Tractor. So, this farmer they plow the field with the help of bullocks or tractor. So, by tractor, what by plowing? Let's see what happened. This loosens the soil and makes it soft. So, by plowing, what happened? The soil it gets loosened and it becomes soft. Then they add manure and fertilizer to make the soil rich in nutrients. So, after plowing, what happened? What do the farmer do? They add manure or they add fertilizer to make the soil more rich in nutrients. 
Farmers then select healthy seeds suitable for the season. So after plowing, after adding manure or fertilizer, these farmer now they will select the seeds suitable for the season. So different different season we grow or the farmer they grow different different type of seeds, different different types of crops. These seeds are sown in the soil and irrigated so that the seeds get enough water. So what happened when the seeds are sown in the soil and irrigated so that the seeds get enough water. Irrigated means by giving water. So the farmer they give water so that the seed get enough water. With the right amount of water, warm and air, the seeds grow into saplings and then into crops. So when the right amount of water, warm or we can say sunlight and air, the seeds get, they will grow into saplings and then it will grow into crops. Insecticide and pesticide are spray on the crops to protect them from insects and pests. So, so spraying pesticide, you see here, so this insecticide or pesticide, they are spray, these are medicines, they are used so that the insects or the pesticide that destroying the crops, they will kill those insects. So insecticide and pesticide, they will kill those insects or they will kill those pesticides so that the plant can grow healthy. Farmers use scarecrows to protect crops from birds and animals. So you see here the picture scarecrows. So farmers are using this scarecrow so that they can protect their crops from birds and animals. Now let's see this from harvesting to storing. When crops are ready, they are harvested manually or with the help of machines. So when the crops are grown up, when the crops are ready, they are harvested or they can pick up manually or sometimes with the help of machines also. After harvesting, they are stored in different ways. So after harvesting, what happened? These crops are stored in different ways. Grains and pulses do not get spoiled and can be stored for a long period. So, grains and pulses, they do not get spoiled so soon. So, they can be stored for a long period. They are known perishable and are stored in gunny bags. So, they are known perishable and they are stored in a gunny bag. So, here perishable means it is it do not get decay or it do not get bad quickly. So here, these grains and pulses, they are non perishable. That means they do not destroy or they do not decay or they do not go bad quickly. So they are stored in a gunny bags. Fruits and vegetables are perishable items. So we know that fruits and vegetables, they get decay or they get damaged very soon. So they are perishable items, which means that they get spoiled very easily. So they are packed in boxes made of cardboard or wood. So these kind of fruits or vegetables, which they get spoiled very easily, they are packed in a box of cardboard or wood. So here you see perishable food. These all are fruits, some vegetables, some leaves, and this is no perishable leaf food that is rice so we will stop here for today we will meet in